In this video, we'll be working on with the ESP32 Titico T display and we'll try to uh, make a, an improved version of our voltmeter. In the previous video, I made a voltmeter using the STM32 uh, blue pill and we'll try to work in, uh, it on with the Titico T display since it has a uh, LCD display and we'll try to uh, display the voltage reading in its uh, display the same I uh, will use the same circuit use but with the blue pill and just put everything in the breadboard and I'll be using the pin 15 for analog input of the voltage divider and note that the TTGO T display uses in uh, USB type C so There's a uh, ping pong demo uh, in the display, so that will be available in the examples. And I'll be using an 18650 lithium-ion battery to just to test our the readings of the Titico display because STM32 and the Titico display are different boards, so. That's why uh, once I run it, uh, it has very uh, large uh, gap. So I and I, I added an extra 10k 10k uh, km 10k ohm resistor in series with the uh, 10k potentiometer. And same thing you did you did from the STM32 blue pill. You just uh, need to calibrate by uh, adjusting the potentiometer so the reading re is quite off so that's why I continuously uh, calibrate the potentiometer and I, I know and I tested the 18650 battery and it has a 3.66 volts so uh, I calibrate the potentiometer until it reaches the value and here is a code Now, once uploaded uh, the code, uh, you see a uh, voltage reading of zero volts at default because I haven't uh, inserted a load to our voltmeter. So let's check on with our power supply and test it with the circuit by uh, using a 3.3 volts uh, voltage. So that's 3.1 but actually it's 3.3 under my multimeter so uh, let's uh, trust the multimeter so let's uh, connect the uh, power terminals of the power supply to the R uh, voltmeter We should see around 3.3 .3 volts of reading. And 
And there is uh, the measured value of our TTCO display is around 3.28 volts, which is quite accurate, I must say. Now let's try to crank it up at around 5 volts. So again, uh, I'll use my multimeter as a, my basis because my power, the power supply, power supply that I have is quite uh, broken in terms of it's displaying the voltage. So we have around 5.05 of output. We'll try to check on with the reading and there it goes. Uh, we have a uh, 5% tolerance and that's pretty, that should be uh, accurate and considerable.